What's up guys? This is a on the go vacation special. We're up here in Big Bear. If you guys want to see the snow outside, it's been absolutely dumping on us over here in Big Bear. Got at least a foot of snow overnight, but I got some new tech accessories for you today. If you guys recognize, this is an authentic Peak Designs tech pouch. Uh, a lot of people like this pouch, including myself. It has a ton of great organizational features. But today, my family from Vietnam brought me what could only be described as the best fake Peak Designs tech pouch. Although it's not a fake bag, it's made by a company called Pack Pro. If you guys didn't know, Peak Designs manu manufactures all of their bags or most of their bags in Vietnam. So it's really easy to find companies that imitate their products uh, if you're living in Vietnam, including this one, Pack Pro. I've got a fake Peter McKinnon like dop kit from uh, Nomadic. Um, so I want you guys to come over here. We're gonna open up these side by side, talk about some of the key differences, some of the key similarities, and then what I would do if I wanted to buy one of these. Okay, now the first difference that you're gonna see between these, Peak Designs only has one zipper. It's one of their Hypalon kind of coated zippers. This Pack Pro or fake bag actually has two. I like that a little bit more. So we're gonna go ahead and open up both of these zippers as well as the Peak Designs one. And I just wanna comment really quick on the feeling of the zipper because Peak Design zippers are generally water resistant or kind of moisture resistant. Um, this Pack Pro one has a similarly moisture resistant looking zipper on the outside of it. Uh, both zippers feel fine in their actual use. The next thing I gotta talk about really quick before we actually dive into the bag is some of the differences in materials. Now, as you can see, this Peak Designs one has it's like a durable water resistant coating on it. Um, Peak Designs talks about how it's manufactured from a lot of recycled material, which is awesome. Um, but this, especially in the black color, ends up looking dirty and kind of scuffed up really fast. Over here on the Pack Pro one, and we have like a, a tarpaulin or hypalon feeling material. Um, this material is gonna be a lot more water resistant, a lot more moisture resistant if you're caught out in the rain. Um, and this, I would say, feels a lot higher quality if you're looking for a material just to take out um, by itself. This one on the authentic one doesn't feel low quality, doesn't feel cheap. It just doesn't feel quite as durable or resistant to the elements here as the Pack Pro one. Now opening up the Pack Pro one inside, you guys can see I have kind of a mini tech loadout. Uh, I've got a charging hub for everyone's devices here on vacation, mini tripod, some of these cool magnetic cables from Magtame. These are really nice because they kind of organize themselves. Uh, the layout of this is the same layout, but the materials of it definitely are not. Now, coming over here, you can see we have like another hypalon, uh, some other type of really kind of water resistant, plasticky feeling material on the inside here. This is to protect the memory cards, okay? If we contrast that with the one in the Peak Designs, this feels much more um, lighter weight and thinner. Uh, I wouldn't say one feels higher quality than the other, but I do kind of prefer for the interior of a bag, this material over this cheaper one. Uh, actually looking at the materials now inside of this, and they are definitely a step down from Peak Designs. If we can get a real close up here. See, this is not stretchy at all inside of this memory card pocket. Here in the Peak Design one, we have the Peak Designs kind of neoprene kind of stretchy material. Um, that's a win for the Peak Designs. Now the interior liners of them, this one kind of has like a, a rip stop, kind of nice little texture, uh, very similar to that of the Peak Design one. I would say that either of these materials feels that much better. Pack Pro even went in so far as to try to copy some of the stitching that you see in these, right? Except that the materials, this is not a stretchy material, so if you have a pen or something that you want to put in here, it's not going to conform to it the way this stretchy one would for the Peak Designs. Now opening up to the rest of these pockets on the inside, we have another material, and this material is still a downgrade over the Peak Design material. It is thinner. It offers less kind of abrasion resistance to the stuff inside, and it doesn't have as much stretch. That said, if you see on the authentic Peak Design one, they have this little upside down triangle thing so that it doesn't kind of tear over time. They do the same thing here with Pack Pro, but already you can see some of the material kind of separating from the stitching. Just the craftsmanship is a notch or two below. Um, other than that, right, some of the materials just in general are cheaper. As you can see, we have the light passing through 
this divider material. The Peak Design one, much, much thicker, much, much higher quality. Uh, one thing that's also kind of nice about the Pack Pro is that they give you like a little sling so that you can wear this as like a hip bag. Peak Design has the same loops on the back. All the other details between these two bags are identical down to the little uh, kind of like fake, I hate to call it fake because it is different, but they have a their own little kind of Peak Design style uh, branding up here, whereas Peak Designs is up here. They have the same little quick grab handles that are double stitched here, just like Peak Designs does. Double stitched, grab handles, right? Lots of grab handles on all sides. Uh, they also don't have a space for the camera strap. Peak Designs gives it to you a place to do it up here. Here on this Pack Pro, they just give you these loops for the bigger overall strap. This is not the first time that I've covered fake Peak Designs products. The first one was a Chinese made everyday sling bag from Peak Designs. That bag lasted me for about a year, a year and a half. I used it quite a bit and then it had some catastrophic failure at the connection points for the straps. I don't necessarily think that this is gonna have the same kind of catastrophic failure necessarily as the Peak Designs as the fake Peak Designs camera sling that I had before. Um, but it's interesting to see that now that this Peak Designs product has been out for a while, companies are essentially copying it, cheapening some of the materials. Only issue, the only place that you can get this bag is on Shopee in Vietnam or ordering it directly from like a manufacturer or retailer in Vietnam. You can't access their website outside of Vietnam and you're not gonna find this on AliExpress because this copy of the Peak Designs bag is manufactured in Vietnam. So you're not gonna go on AliExpress or Alibaba to find the, this specific fake version of it. If I was going to make the decision between either buying the fake one or buying the real one, um, I lived in Vietnam for six and a half years, so I would have access to this. I have family that lived there, they can send this to me. But I don't think I necessarily would. I would probably just go buy a secondhand, lightly used Peak Designs tech pouch. I've seen a ton of these in the United States on eBay, Craigslist, Facebook, OfferUp, and people are selling these for essentially the same price as this one is brand new in Vietnam. The only caveat to this is that if you want to have a bag that you can use by itself outside and things like rain and water resistance are important to you, this, knockoff or imitation or cheap copy, whatever you want to call it, would be a little bit better. Um, if you're living in Vietnam and you don't want to spend the money on this one, you could definitely get this one and I think you'd be pretty happy. And by, for its like intended purpose of having a way to organize like camera stuff or tech stuff when you go outside of the house, um, the cheaper quality materials on this don't really make that much of a difference. But you're, it's going to be impossible to find this so you might as well go ahead and check the links I'll have in the description to some eBay listings or some Amazon listings where you could buy this. But I wanna cover this for you guys because I get a lot of questions about Peak Design products, fake Peak Design products, um, especially when I was living in Vietnam. And uh, yeah, so that's gonna be this video. Peace.